Hello everyone. Welcome to Pharma Highlight and this is a new video from our Boost Your Basics series. Today our topic of discussion is drugs which are contraindicated in pregnancy. Now we know that any time you use any medication or any drug for a treatment, it has some side effects. But why is it there is a special thing when it comes to drugs which are contraindicated in pregnancy? Because when you a pregnant lady or a woman consumes any drugs, it indirectly relates to the fetus, that is the infant or the newborn baby who is going to be born. The drugs are going to affect the fetus. That is why extra precautions and care have to be taken when you think about it, prescribing any drug for any of the disorders or diseases in a pregnant female. So let us have a look at it. Now, firstly, what are the drugs called? That is, whenever any of the drugs for pregnancy may or fetus for newborn for side effects, karta hai. all such drugs are called as teratogens. That is, this term is teratogens or the process is teratogenesis. Now, what is a teratogen? It is defined as an agent which results in structural or functional abnormalities in fetus. That is, before birth, the the child who before birth in the mother's womb is called as fetus. So any ter teratogen is defined as any agent that results in structural or functional abnormalities in the fetus or in the child after birth as a consequence of maternal exposure during pregnancy. That is, as a kohibi drug job mother consume karti hai during the nine months of pregnancy. Any of that can cause abnormalities or functional difficulties in the fetus or it can cause effect after the child is born. Such drugs are called as teratogens. Now let us look at the examples of drugs which are considered to be teratogenic. Firstly, ACE inhibitors, that is angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, then carbimazole, cytotoxics, that is some cytotoxic drugs are teratogenic, then danazole, diethylstelbesterol, ethanol, lithium, mesoprostol, penicillamine, phenytoin, tetracyclines, thalidomide. Tetracyclines and thalidomide, you all know, these two are very famous examples. Then valproic acid, warfarin, vitamin A and its derivatives like isoretinoin. We'll discuss each of this in detail. This is just a list. That is ACE inhibitors, carbamazole, sorry, there is a typo here, carbamazole, cytotoxic, Cytotoxics, danazole, diethyl, silvesterol, ethanol, lithium is also a combination which is popular. Then penicillamine, phenytoin, tetracycline and thalidomide are very important. Then valparin and valproic acid are also important. Let us look in detail at the drugs which cause adverse effects. This is the uh, table in front of you which shows the possible adverse effects of different drugs. First is ACE inhibitors. That is, we use this uh, ACE inhibitors as antihypertensis. However, in pregnancy, it is contraindicated because they are teratogenic. What are the effects they cause? It causes fetal and neonatal hypoxia. Now, what does it mean by this neonatal hypoxia or fetal hypoxia? Hypoxia means lack of oxygen or low level of oxygen supply to the brain. So, if you consume ACE inhibitors during pregnancy, it can cause this fetal or neonatal hypoxia. Also, it causes hypotension, that is, low blood pressure, which can cause fainting or dizziness. Ready card. Then next is renal dysfunction, that is, your renal functions will be affected. It also causes intrauterine growth retardation, that is, inside the uterus, whatever growth is occurred, it can cause retardation of this growth. All these are possible adverse effects of ACE inhibitors. Let us next look at beta blockers. Example, atenolol. Now, what does beta blockers cause? They cause neonatal bradycardia. Now, what do you mean by bradycardia? That is, heart rate is lower. That is, decreasing heart rate or less heart rate. Less than 100 bits per minute is called as neonatal bradycardia. That is, less than 100 bits per minute will give you neonatal bradycardia, which could be dangerous to the newborn. It also causes hypotension. Again, low BP, dizziness, fainting, and hyperglycemia, that is high blood level, uh, high blood sugar levels, that is high blood glucose levels or sugar levels, that is hyperglycemia. This can all occur if beta blockers are consumed by pregnant females. Next is benzodiazepines. Now, what do benzodiazepines cause? This causes something known as floppy infant syndrome. Now, what do you mean by floppy infant syndrome? Another term for that is hypotonia. That is muscle tone becomes weaker or the muscles have a lower muscle tone. This is known as 
hypotonia or floppy infant syndrome which is caused by benzodiazepines this is a class of sedative hypnotics if you must have studied in your pharmacology subject about benzodiazepines they cause floppy infant syndrome next is corticosteroids when given especially in high dose they cause adverse effects of fetal adrenal suppression now what do you mean by fetal adrenal suppression that is inside the fetus adrenal insufficiency occurs that is adrenal gland does not function sufficiently or acts suppression you can say because of high dose of corticosteroid by maternal that is if the mother is consuming high steroids and high amount it can cause acts insufficiency or adrenal suppression next is nsaids that is non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs what do these drugs cause they cause premature closure of ductus arteriosus that is this premature closing of ductus arteriosus will affect the fetal blood circulation this is the possible adverse effect of nsaids it also causes fetal renal impairment that is the renal functions of the fetus that is inside the womb the fetus is affected that is the renal impairment can occur also what happens is there is decreased urine output because the renal functions are impaired next is opioids opioids as we know these are addictive drugs what they cause is neonatal withdrawal syndrome and respiratory depression now what is neonatal withdrawal syndrome that is the when the uterus is exposed to some addictive drugs like opioids as we know they uh, dependent these are dependence forming or habit forming drugs so when the fetus is exposed or when the women is consuming such addictive drugs the fetus or the newborn will suffer from neonatal withdrawal syndrome that is the baby experiences tremors vomiting irritability fever diarrhea all these are symptoms of neonatal withdrawal symptoms next is phenothiazines again it causes neonatal withdrawal that is same things tremor vomiting irritability diarrhea and fever this all occurs when a neonatal withdrawal syndrome is coming these are the symptoms of it it also causes some extra periodontal symptoms then tricyclic antidepressants so selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors that is all the antidepressants also cause neonatal withdrawal syndrome so for every drug basically aapko sirf uske adverse effects kya hote hain ye yaad rakhna hai when it comes to teratogenic drug nsaids in nsaids another thing i forgot to mention is when it causes premature closure of this ductus it is mainly because of inhibition or limitation of prostaglandin synthesis that is when your prostaglandin synthesis is inhibited it causes uh, fetal circulation is affected it causes premature closing of this ductus next few more examples barbiturates chronic use of barbiturates that if you use them then it causes neonatal dependence that is the uh, neonates get addicted to it carbamazepin causes neural tube defects this is a very typical example then cocaine or tamoxifen they cause risk of abortion that is abortion risk or high chances of abortion if a mother is consuming cocaine or tamoxifen then ethanol causes fetal alcohol syndrome very easy to remember ethanol being an alcohol causing fetal alcohol syndrome ab ye fetal alcohol syndrome mein kya hota hai that is when the uh, mother or the pregnant woman is consuming alcohol the fetus that is in high amount if it is a habit that a uh, high alcohol consumption is being done by the female the baby or the fetus gets exposed to high concentrations of alcohol and this causes certain defects or fetal alcohol syndrome what is it now the baby has low body weight that is the baby the newborn infant form will be very weak the low body weight you can see the baby is very tiny does not have any mass or weight that is low body weight is a very typical sign of it it also causes poor coordination the baby has certain disabilities cannot coordinate or cannot concentrate when the person uh, uh, when start, the child starts speaking at the age of 1 or 2 years the baby has slow speech that is there is a defect in speech the baby is not able to speak normally like the other kids also it causes difficulty in coordination concentration so when it comes to studies these children who are having fetal alcohol syndrome are not able to concentrate focus or uh, are not capable of uh, doing normal education this is what happens and they have certain hyperactivity that at a certain time they get hyperactive and then they withdraw themselves being dizzy because of their disabilities they are not able to function normally next is 
lithium lithium causes increased intracranial pressure that is icp is intracranial pressure so intracranial apna pressure hota hai wo bahut padta hai then when it comes to tetracyclines you all must be aware of it it causes discoloration of teeth and altered bone growth this is a very typical adverse effect of tetracyclines that is if it is consumed during pregnancy it can cause discoloration of the teeth also it can cause altered bone growth that is the bones do not grow sufficient then next is thalidomide and diethyl silvesterol now thalidomide talks apne suna hoga the famous thalidomide tragedy which occurred that is the thalidomide drug was basically given uh, as an to induce nausea or other things for a pregnant woman during surgeries and deliveries but when this thalidomide was later it was observed that it caused limb malformation that is all the babies who were born in that particular time they had malformations like phocomelia bone hypoplasia or absence of bone their limbs did not grow normally this was the major adverse effects of thalidomide that is when the mother was exposed to thalidomide pre surgery or before delivery it caused limb malformation and later the use of this drugs was banned and withdrawn the uh, the thalidomide tragedy i hope everybody has some idea about it also diethyl silvesterol it causes increased risk of cancer the next one is warfarin now what do you have about warfarin warfarin it causes alters the respiratory tract formation or the respiratory tract functions are affected now in pregnancy there are trimesters first trimester second and third so all the effects of warfarin occur in every trimester first it alters respiratory functions then in the next trimester if you take it it causes cns malformation that is certain cns abnormalities can occur and in last trimester if you take it, there is increased risk of bleeding or hemorrhage can even occur because of the use of warfarin so these are the some typical drugs and their adverse effects which can occur in pregnant females or teratogenic drugs before we move further do subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure you press the bell icon so that you get a video a reminder when we post a new video we also have our free whatsapp group where we are posting daily mcqs for gpat niper other entrance exams job related openings so if you want to get added to a group please message us on this below mentioned whatsapp number we will add you to our group Now let us have a look at some MCQs which can come for your exams based on this teratogenic drugs. Limb malformation is a side effect in infants due to which drug? Tetracyclines, thalidomide, lithium, and warfarin. ये अभी हमने देखा था limb malformation on the previous slide. Let us have a look at the solution. Now what happens when it consumes warfarin? It causes CNS malformation and hemorrhage. Lithium causes increased intracranial pressure. tetracyclines cause discoloration of teeth and altered bone growth and thalidomide is the one which causes limb malformation that is if the female pregnant female has consumed thalidomide to be a nauseous drug it causes limb malformation in the fetus therefore the correct answer here is option b next one floppy infant syndrome is caused by dash ethanol cocaine ace inhibitors and benzodiazepines Now, what does ethanol cause? Ethanol being an alcohol causes the fetal alcohol syndrome, which I have discussed. Kia tha that is the baby is weak, in a, unable to concentrate, cannot function normally, or speech is not developed. Now, cocaine is the one which causes the risk of abortion. Ace inhibitors they cause hypoxia and hypotension, and benzodiazepines will cause floppy infant syndrome. A floppy infant syndrome kya tha? It was basically hypotonia. I have explained you in the first slide. Hypotonia meaning weaker tone of muscles, and this is the adverse effect caused by benzodiazepines. Next question: Neonatal withdrawal symptoms are caused by dash, opioids, phenothiazines, tricyclic antidepressants, and all of the above. अब हमने देखा था कि what was neonatal withdrawal syndrome? That is vomiting, tremors, diarrhea, or certain irritability. and all these drugs that is tricyclic depressants opioids and all this are habit forming or addictive drugs which can be consumed and which require in a long term treatment in females even if a pregnant lady is having some depression symptoms you need a long term treatment similarly opioids are habit forming so when consumed in large amount they definitely going to cause some adverse effects and thus the correct answer here is all of the above all these drugs will cause neonatal withdrawal symptoms Thank you everyone for watching the video stay tuned we are coming up with more videos soon